This is a six-on-six -six system drill used by Mark Rosen at the University of Michigan. And whenever we say system drill, it means we're prioritizing offensive and or defensive systems. In this drill, uh, actually both sides, we're playing six on six, and both sides are working on offense, defense, hitter coverage. Um, so both sides are working on, on systems. This is a competitive drill that um, has very specific scoring. Uh, and I'll explain how, how the scoring goes as the drill unfolds here. Mark was um, prioritizing first swing kills. Um, so in this drill, you get a point if the first ball that comes over the net, your team can pass, set, and put that ball away. The first ball had to go to left front. So the left front players were the only ones that can score, and the only way they could score was on the first swing. If they didn't score on the first swing, if, for example, they hit the ball out of bounds, then the other side got the first ball, and they had a chance to score on the first swing. If the other team dug my attack and a rally ensued and my team still won the point or still won the rally, I would get another chance to score in the first ball. So if I don't score in the first ball, my teammates can still work hard and give me another chance to get a first ball. So in this scenario, as the ball goes to left front, okay, she doesn't put that ball away and they end up losing that point so now the other side gets a chance to score in the first ball the set goes to left front didn't put it away so now a rally ensues and now the best she can do is to try and hope her team wins so they'll they'll get the next first ball so that ball goes down so now this side gets a chance to score in the first ball so as you can see the first ball always goes to left front any other in any other set on the ensuing rally can go to any hitter, uh, but but the only person that can score is a left front. So as you see there, the left front wins the game, and then we rotate around. So that that last game was left front against left front, and you can set it up any way you want. Right front against right front. In the the scenario we're looking at right now, it is front row setter and middle hitter on one side against the other side's front row setter and middle hitter. So the rules are the same though. The only people that can score are the two designated players, front row setter and middle hitter. So as they score on that ball, um, or excuse me, that, that there is a, a net violation. So if this ball is attacked by the middle hitter, and again, they can run any set they want, and if they score, they get the next ball, as you see there. Um, so the setter can attack, or she can set the set the middle hitter. So as the as we're finishing up here, this middle hitter runs a slide, puts the ball away. So now she gets the next ball, and that that would be considered a point. So pass, set, another ball goes to the middle hitter. She scores. Now she gets that point, and therefore she gets the next ball. So it's a competitive scenario. We're prioritizing. Scoring immediately, okay? So the only points come off the first swing. So a good competitive drill where both sides get to work on their offensive and defensive systems.